don't sleep well, flitting between dreams and nightmares. Maybe you wake up because you know something is wrong. Or maybe you just get lucky. Shit. No, no. It's not what it looks like. I swear. I... I wasn't going to hurt you. I... I just needed... Well... Blood. There, in the dim firelight, you see him for what he really is. A vampire. A slave to sanguine hunger. I've never killed anyone. Well, not for food. I feed on animals. Bulls. Deer. Kobolds. Whatever I can get. But it's not enough. Not if I have to fight. I feel so... Weak. If I just had a little blood, I could think clearer. Fight better. Please. A strange sensation courses through you, and your companion's mind unfolds, secrets half revealed. <laughs> At best, I was sure you'd say no. More likely, you'd ram a stake through my ribs. No. I needed you to trust me. And you can trust me. Thank you. Do you think you could trust me just a little further? I only need a taste. I swear. I'd forgotten about your little, uh, affliction. <laughs> Hunger does clown your senses. I'll go and find something on four legs to eat, I suppose. See you in the morning. You watch him stalk away, slumped, sulking, and ready to kill. Last night's little unpleasantness hasn't left a bad taste in your... Well, <laughs> I hope there are no bad feelings. Indeed it could. These are very helpful in a fight. Of course, I can't summon wolves or turn to mist like a true vampire. Being a spawn has its drawbacks. I should be cinders in this light. I hadn't seen the sun for 200 years before we crashed here. Someone, or something, wants me alive. They've changed the rules. Standing in the sun, wading through a river, wandering into homes without an invitation. They're all perfectly mundane activities now. As for my other quirks, well... <laughs> We can figure those out in time. That's my theory, but who knows? I'm just glad you're being sensible about these... Uh, revelations. I was worried people might turn up with torches and pitchforks. Although there's still time. Hunting with vampires. Never thought I'd see the day. Very well, but I'm keeping an eye on you. And no wisecracks about having us for supper. For his sake, he best not develop an appetite for Gith Yankee. Oh, quite the opposite. I'm here in the spirit of openness and honesty to work together as a team. 
I'd just better not wake with any holes in my neck. There now. We're all friends again. Shall we go? There's a long day ahead of us. Do you think you could trust me just a little further? I only need a taste. I swear. God! I'd nearly forgotten! I'm so hungry I would have bitten into anything. I'll go and find something on four legs to eat, I suppose. See you in the morning. You toss me aside over this. Fine. See how far you get without me. gone. It's for the better, given his palate. He wasn't the worst company, bloodlust aside. Part of me will miss him. Need I remind you that he tried to open one of our necks like a Thelian Red? I did not bring this danger into our camp. Perhaps whoever did should be more careful in future. Do you have any brain left, or has the worm claimed it all? It doesn't matter. Astarian's gone. Now just hope he doesn't come creeping back next time he's hungry. 